a billion dollar empire. Now that's something befitting their title, the Lords of Cocaine. Moving with ease around the globe, cutting deals exceeding the GDP of entire countries, nestled beyond reach of those chasing them. They're big fish, but the biggest fish make the biggest targets. And last week, the power of five nations on two continents rose to meet their challenge. The Mob Reporter here with news of a group of major high-value targets, accused of moving audaciously large loads with astonishing frequency, flooding Europe with South American coke. But they made a crucial mistake. They shared photos of dirty deeds along the way, thinking it was done in secret, but it wasn't. Let me tell you about it. This super cartel had all the parts in place. They had their source, transatlantic logistics, pickup and delivery, all sorted, involving crooked businessmen in South America and corrupt dock workers in European ports. Their prowess led Europol, the joint European police agency, to dub them the Cocaine Lords. These are world-class narcos, capable of moving a lot of weight. How much? Well, here are just the shipments that I know of, and it's improbable I know of them all. January 2020, 1.4 tons of coke from Bolivia was first hauled to Paraguay, prepared for shipping, and sent to Brazil, where it was hidden on a container ship sailing for Antwerp in Belgium. August 2020, 2.6 tons were shipped to the port of Hamburg in Germany. Also in August, another ship with 2.6 tons board arrived in Antwerp. February 2021, it was back to landing in Hamburg, but the load was much bigger now, 16 tons. I think they were gaining confidence, because the same month, 7.7 .7 tons sailed from Panama into Antwerp. And in April 2021, authorities found 11 tons hidden in another ship arriving in Antwerp. In total, that's more than 41 tons, an astounding amount. But as smooth as they were, they made a huge mistake. It may have seemed a good idea at the time, but some members of their operation used an encrypted phone system called Sky ECC, an innovative Canadian company's covert phones catering to criminals. But it was hacked by police in March 2021. With the gangland phone network exposed, police had a back door allowing them to trace large shipments being arranged in supposed secrecy and to discover seemingly legitimate companies trying to mask the global movement of product and money. Many were traced to the Lords. That allowed police to start picking off their shipments. Cops in several countries discovered they were all chasing the same organization and found it was organized by expats from a commanding control center in Dubai on the Persian Gulf. The first coordinated strike against the Lords was in February 2022. I told you details of that in a video that I'll link to below. That hit the South American end hard, primarily in Brazil and Paraguay. Some high-value targets were pinched, including a racehorse entrepreneur and the owner of a military-style armored car company. Police next went after the European end. In March, the Lords network in Southern Europe was hit and now they've hit their north flank. On April 20, 2022, police launched coordinated raids. There were searches and arrests in Paraguay, Germany, Spain, Netherlands, Belgium, and even in Dubai. Dozens of homes and businesses were searched and at least 20 people were arrested. There were 11 arrested in Germany, five in Belgium, three in the Netherlands, and one in Spain. They range in age from 26 to 57. Several of them have previously served long prison terms. A lot of documents and electronic equipment was seized, along with vehicles, luxury watches, real estate, bank accounts and cash worth more than six million US dollars, and at least one gun. Police say the coke arriving in both Germany and Belgium were destined for a distribution center in the Netherlands, and a man there was previously arrested for that role. Most surprising, though, is word from a German investigator that one of the heads of the operation, who was described as, quote, the main actor, unquote, was arrested in Dubai. That's not easy, since Dubai doesn't have formal extradition treaties with European Union countries. 
German police say a 39-year-old German citizen, a native of Hanover, was arrested by Dubai police and United Arab Emirates federal narcotics agents. He is currently in custody there while people come up with an extradition plan. If that works out for police, it'll be one down, more to go. In Paraguay, more than a thousand cops, agents, and prosecutors searched businesses and homes of those suspected of assembling the shipments. Police called it Operation North Atlantic. One of the loads to Germany had the coke stuffed inside tins containing Fox acrylic paint. One to Antwerp was filled with wood to hide the bricks. The focus of the Paraguayan probe is Diego Benitez, 38 a wealthy businessman who sat on the board of directors for Club Olympia, a top-flight soccer team in Paraguay's capital. A company linked to Benitez produced the paints. His property was a focus of raids in the February operation too. In coordination with European authorities, police there searched his businesses and homes, including his ex-wife's place. I'm sure she appreciated that, but he is out of arm's reach from her and from police. As a fugitive, whereabouts technically unknown. I suspect he wants to stay that way. It seems someone who was doctoring up the paint cans before their export sent clear photos of the process presumably using the Sky ECC system, thinking it was privately and secretly sent to their colleagues in Europe. Likely as proof, but perhaps to show off. Compare these photos. Here, allegedly, are tins being stuffed with bricks in Paraguay before being shipped out to Europe. And here are the tins seized by police in Germany. So the cops knew ahead of time exactly what they were looking for at Europe's northern ports. Paraguayan reports say Benitez's paint warehouse underwent extensive remodeling and renovation soon after the huge load was discovered at Hamburg. That will explain why police are seen tearing up the walls and the ceiling of the place. I think they're looking to match the premises to the background seen in the photos. Officers also seized 117 drums of liquid, which are being analyzed, authorities said, and a lot of documentation, both paper and digital. The coke lords must be going crazy. The cops know, and they know the cops know. Their numbers, assets, and turf are being diminished. For them, the heat in Dubai isn't just from the sun and the sand. Check out my exclusive bonus content and perks on Patreon at patreon.com slash themobreporter. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.